like most people, I was very interested in sports. Uh, I had a passion for sport. Uh, that's what uh, drove me or, or piqued my interest in, in, uh, in sports science. Um, I uh, was involved semi, uh, uh, semi-elite level uh, as, a, as a youngster, uh, uh, represented my former country uh, at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, and that's when I really thought to myself, going, going for the games, that's when it occurred to me that this is what I want to do. Not, not a, a, a pro at- athlete, but I actually want to be involved with the science. Uh, I want to be involved with what makes these guys uh, perform at that level. So that was my initial uh, frame of mind going into, in, into studying. Right from that point onwards, I was dealing with uh, multidisciplinary clinics, so working with, uh, with physios, working with, uh, with doctors as well, uh, and dealing with the rehabilitation side of things. So initially stepping in, I was very keen on human performance. I was very keen on uh, 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 you know, getting uh, athletes to their, to their peak, uh, a lot of the work that David's doing. Uh, but then um, I started to realize that more of my passion was actually trying to, trying to keep athletes well, or, or especially when athletes are, are, are injured from overtraining, for example, uh, dealing with them from that, from that, uh, from that level. Uh, that, that started to, to widen out into the general population. So uh, we were looking at uh, uh, not necessarily just athletes, we were looking at uh, just your general, your general patient, your general person. Uh, and it, and, and we, we stepped into chronic, uh, chronic care. <music> chronic care is, uh, it's, it's very much, you're not, just a, you're not just an exercise physiologist, you're not someone who just uh, assesses uh, and puts in place uh, an exercise program for them in order to deal with a medical condition. You've, you're very much a, a mentor, you're very much someone who, who's talking to them about their life. You're a, you're, 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 you're trying to change a lot of their lifestyle habits. Uh, and that is extremely fulfilling because you're engaged with them at a very personal level. Uh, and it's probably one of the most challenging things dealing with chronics is that they're considered the incurables. Uh, what, you, what you do, you might have the best science behind you. The guys in the lab are telling us that you know, you've got to do it three times a week for this amount of time and so forth and so forth and you put that into practice, and you find that you know, in, at the back of your head, no matter what you do, it's really not going to change uh, the person. They're not gonna come out better because they're, you know, they're chronics. They're, they've got it for life. Uh, sometimes it's a mental thing. That's why we have a pain psychologist. Or you can see it as a challenge and say that, okay, uh, you know, I'm gonna try something new. This patient might have had a problem for 20 or 30 years, Try something new, uh, add, to, add to, the, to, the, to this uh, consultation something new that might just, the penny might just drop or they might just start taking a step in the right direction. So you're more than just a, uh, an, you know, an exercise physiologist, you're a, you know, you're, a, you're a coach, you're a lifestyle coach, you're talking to them about uh, you know, uh, a lot of different things.